This isn't Calais, where tensions with migrants are well established. Wiestrem is a sleepy fishing port four hours to the west, but it has three ferries a day to England, and that's why these young men are here. This isn't a one-off. It's happening every day and every night on every truck that passes through. They're mostly from Sudan, and almost all look like teenagers. On the edge of town, they sleep in the ditches. The police remove any tents they try to pitch. Every morning, they wait for the trucks to arrive. We follow one Bulgarian lorry. The first group manages to open the door, but none of them climb on. A little further on, the driver stops. He's clearly aware of what's just happened. So you can see he's just uh, closing the door there, but there are some, um, some of the truck guys who were trying to get on the truck uh, already making their way up here. And seconds later, even before we were back in the car, they were past us and onto the truck. The route down to the port here is not like larger ports, Calais or Dunkirk, where motorways lead straight to the dockside. Here, the trucks must snake through the town. It makes them much more vulnerable to this. The police are there. The police do what they can with the resources they have. Around our car, the young men don't like being filmed. So even right in front of the police there, they're trying to get on. In all, we counted 18 young men get on. Most got off again. But four, maybe five, it was hard to see, made it to the port entrance. There, where every truck is checked, four were discovered. We can't be sure, but it's possible one remained inside. A little later, a few of them agreed to talk to us. How old are you? I'm yeah. I'm 16. You're 16, and you? 17 years old. 17, and you? 16. 16? 14. 14, yeah. okay. And you're all from Sudan? Yeah, yes. all, all over Sudan. All Sudan. Why, why England? England is good. good. Yeah. How do you know England's my good? My family here, my brother, big in England. Your brother is in England? Yeah. And how did he get to England? On the trucks? Yeah, here. Here? Yeah. He was here? Yeah, in here I'm going to England. And he told you to come to come here? Yeah. yeah. We watch another trucks dash to the port. And then an exchange with some locals and a moment which demonstrates a divide over migration that stretches across this continent. Oui. So as they keep talking, it's quite clear that this is causing real, real tensions uh, within this community. And you can see uh, the migrants are continuing to, to gather as they do every day and every night all across this village. They're not being helped by anyone but volunteers, nor are they being sent home. They're in a miserable, dangerous limbo and driven by that basic human instinct that there must be something better over the horizon. Mark Stone, Sky News in northern France.